So you've been talking to this girl for a while now and you're really starting to like her. Or maybe you know that she likes you, you're just not sure if she likes you as much as you like her. Well, instead of wasting time worrying and wondering, do what I'm about to tell you and just get her to like you more. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Matt Artisan here from the Attractive Man Coaching Team. And I want you to pay attention, gentlemen, because this is one video that you don't want to miss. And the tip that I'm gonna share with you to raise her attraction level towards you is super simple to implement. Now, before we begin, I wanna paint you a picture. Imagine you're hanging a toy in front of a cat. If you hold the toy right in front of the cat, they won't go after it. In fact, if you lay it on the ground, they won't even look at it twice. But if you dangle it just out of reach and pull it right back when they begin to swat at it, the cat will go crazy and want it even more. Now, I'm not saying she's a cat and you're most definitely not a toy. Although she might see you as a boy toy, which isn't always a bad thing. Yeah. But the psychology behind getting the cat to want the toy works very similar to women. When something, or in your case, someone, that they're supposed to desire is placed clearly in front of them, totally available. Nine times out of 10, she won't be overly interested, but pull away that thing that she kinda likes and she'll want it, you, even more. Think about it like this, you're pretty hungry, you're eating a hamburger, you're enjoying it, but it's in your hand. Do you really, really want it so badly when you already have it? Versus if somebody took that hamburger away, now you'd probably want it back a lot more. So basically it goes like this. Say you've been talking to her for a week now, and at this point she's getting somewhat attracted to you, or at the very least, she doesn't hate you. Now if you want that small amount of attraction she has towards you to increase, you simply pull away from her. Don't text her back for a day or two. And after that, you simply reappear and continue the conversation. I'm back, bitches! Now you're probably thinking, how in the world does that even help me? First of all, it adds a little bit of unpredictability to your life. Unlike the toy in our analogy that was kept in front of the cat, she begins to realize that you're not just some overly nice guy who's available 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Second, it shows her that you're not some idle loser. You have other things to do, other people to talk to, and you have an actual life. So you can't always be there to text her back at her convenience. Next, it makes her see you as intriguing because now she's thinking, Maybe you're not as into her as she thought you were. She's now seeing you as different from most of the other guys who fawn all over her and practically worship her every step. Now she sees you as worthy of attention. And lastly, it makes her think about you even more. She'll be wondering where you are, what you're doing, why aren't you replying to her, whether she said or did something wrong, or whether or not you even like her in the first place. She's basically forced to think about you more than she was before. And the more she thinks about you in this light, wondering what you're doing, who you're with, and why you aren't texting her back, the more interested in you she gets. In fact, some psychologists suggest that the feeling of falling in love happens absent your presence, meaning it happens when she's thinking about you. It might seem a little unreal, but think about whether you were on the receiving end of this. You probably don't even have to think too hard, because if you're like most guys who have a decent amount of girls to text, this probably happens to you all the time. You've been talking to this girl that you like for a little bit, and you're starting to get the sense that she likes you as well, and then suddenly, she disappears. And for the day or two that She's gone, you're left wondering what the heck's going on, or whether you said something to offend her in your last text. And then she just as suddenly reappears. Or maybe you had to reinitiate, but she's texting you normally as she was before. But the weird thing is, now you find yourself being more into her than you were before. See how that works? Let's say you're chatting with two girls. They're equally as attractive and cool, but one is showing you tons and tons of interest, she's always texting you back, and she's available anytime to hang out with you. The other one takes a long time to write you back. She's showing you just enough interest, but often seems to pull away, and she's rarely available because she's very, very busy. But they both happen to be available tomorrow at the exact same time to hang out with you. Which one are you gonna pick? Most people would pick the one that's really busy and that's not showing as much interest because they know they can see the other girl that's showing lots of interest and is always available, they can see her anytime. And that's exactly how you'll get her to like you even more, using the pull away method. Not to be confused with the pull out method. Totally different. I know personally that if I'm texting two girls who I like equally and one's always available and one's rarely available, I'm gonna go for the one that's rarely available first. It's just human nature to value what's not 
not readily available. That's why we value things like diamonds and gold a lot more than water, even though water is way more important. Unless there's a drought, then water becomes like gold. Now here's the thing, the pull away method is a very simple process, but if you do it wrong, it can make you lose the girl entirely. For example, if you're really into a girl and you're chatting with her every single day, and then you watch this video and you decide to try the pull away method for an entire week, in that time, she'll probably conclude that you are either never into her or at least now you're no longer into her, which will make her suppress all her feelings she may have had for you and likely find somebody to replace you, which is the exact opposite of what you wanted to do because now she's pretty much given up on you and doesn't care about you at all. Here's another example. It's not as brutal, but it's still important to know. Maybe the two of you just matched on Tinder and you've had one or two quick conversations, but nothing really concrete enough to build initial interest or attraction. If you pull away from her for a little while, she probably won't even notice your absence. I'm sorry, am I missing something? So when you reappear, things will just go back to normal, but you won't have built the increased attraction that you want. So when you want to try the pull away, you have to first be sure that the initial interest in you exists and then you have to be sure that you don't pull away for too long. As a general rule, if you talk to her every single day, then your pull away should probably be just for a day. But if you talk to her for, let's say, three or four times a week, then you can pull away for two or three days. It's just long enough for her to feel your absence, but not too long so she doesn't give up on you. Now, when you come back from your mini disappearing act and she asks you, what have you been doing? Or why didn't you text her back? Make sure to reply with something truthful, like you were busy at work or something came up and you just forgot to check your phone, or maybe you were on a trip. Don't lie, just communicate to her that you're just busy with the interesting life that you lead and that you're not one to be constantly available. See, this works 10 times better when you genuinely have something to do, which is what I recommend for you. Be a busy guy, go to a concert, take a trip, or take a salsa class or an improv class. Plus, these will make great starters for new conversations with her when you come back to her DMs and will help you nurture that interest that you've just built in her. See, here's the thing. I don't actually use this technique, nor do I teach it to our coaching clients because it's really for newbies to help manage their neediness because the biggest girl repellent is neediness. I prefer to go deeper and actually cultivate an interesting life so you don't have to do some technique. You're just naturally busy. So of course, you're not gonna be able to text her back all the time. Then it's no longer a method. It's just who you are as a man. So look, man, just keep building your life and stay focused on your purpose. And then you'll just naturally be busy. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then that becomes your purpose. Finding out what it is. Go meet interesting people. Travel to cool and interesting places. And try doing lots of new things. And pretty soon you'll find certain things that really spark your interest. And then with the right balance of genuinely being unavailable, but still giving some attention, because of course you do like her, you'll have more women than you can handle. Or that one woman that you really, really like will be head over here heels for you. So again, don't just pretend to be busy, aka pretend to be non-needy. Actually work on yourself so you become a non-needy high value man. Because when you become the highest, most attractive version of yourself, you don't have to rely on any methods or tricks or anything like that. Because when you're walking up to women with a bunch of tricks and lines and gimmicks, a lot of women can see through all that. They usually see your true self a lot sooner than you think. So acting won't get you too far. Instead, focus on becoming great and you will attract great women. So to help you really break free of neediness and unleash your best self so that you can confidently walk up to women in any situation and know exactly what to do and what to say to make her yours, schedule a free consultation with my coaching team and through our live training program, we'll help you become the most confident, powerful, attractive version of yourself so that you can meet and attract your dream woman. Just click the link down in the description or to the right of this screen. My name is Matt Artisan from the Attractive Man Coaching Team and I hope to see you at a boot camp soon.